Hello, YouTube friends. This is Richard Maybe with Richard Maybe Presents. Uh, it's uh, Monday morning, uh, January 24th, 2022. And I still have the sore throat and scratchy eyes and running nose and the whole bit. So, but I wanted to do uh, a YouTube video just to touch base uh, uh, with um, my YouTube friends. Uh, so I have the old uh, Sunoco hat on today and um, the Sunoco station yeah, was about a block, was a block away from my old house in Lincoln Park. And uh, my cousin Bruce, Bruce maybe owned the Sunoco station. But uh, the great thing about the Sunoco station, uh, going back to when I was a kid, like, you know, 9, 10, 11, 12 years old, and even 13 and 14, um, the, the old gang from the neighborhood we would play uh, baseball in the backfield. And then <clears throat> ride our bicycles to the Sunoco station, to the gas station, number one, to get air in the tires. And then number two, they had the old fashioned uh, soda cooler. And um, the, 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 the soda was not in plastic bottles, but these big, thick bottles. And it, and it was, seems like there was a more of an assortment of the sodas. It was Fanta Orange, RC Cola, of course, Coca-Cola, um, root beer, dad's root beer, uh, and uh, the grape. I forgot the brand. I was at Knee High, Grape Soda. Uh, seven up, <laughs> what a great, great side. You don't see seven up much anymore. Um, Mountain Dew. So I think the soda, I think it was 10 cents or it was 12 cents and two cent. It was 10 cents for the soda bottle and a two cent deposit. And then on the right hand side, there was this rack that had a, a, a wooden case. So if you paid, you know, you paid your 12 cents and you drank the soda there, then when you put it back, you know, the, the fellow pumping gas would give you two cents. <laughs> Imagine this day and age, you know, like in these modern gas stations, so like someone's giving some kid two cents for a soda bottle. So different time. And then you could get air in the tires. I said that, yeah. But um, a little homesick. I got the old uh, Lincoln Park shirt on this morning. Yesterday, uh, Saturday, um, we abs my sister and I absolutely needed food. We didn't have any milk, bread. Um, we didn't have any eggs and other sundries. So they have this thing in Central Florida. Maybe it's all over the country. I don't know. But you can you can go on the computer and tell them, tell the store what you want. And then they do the shopping for you. And then you just pull in. They have a special parking space. You pull in and they bring the food out to you. So that's what we did Saturday afternoon. Um, we didn't want to go in the store and just spread the love, <laughs> spread the love of this thing. I, I, I wouldn't, you know, my worst enemy, I wouldn't wish this on. So, um, and, uh, we weren't, we, we weren't able to go to church Sunday and, uh, you know, you don't want to be singing amazing grace and you're coughing and sneezing all through, uh, amazing grace. That's not a a good thing either. So um, I'm going to rest today. The old vitamin C and zinc. But I did want to do a, I did want to do um, 
a vlog. It's been, I didn't do a vlog Saturday or Sunday, so I said I'll do a vlog this morning. Uh, I could sing Maggie May. <laughs> I, could, I, could, I, could, I could do a Rod Stewart imitation of Maggie May. So, Maggie, I couldn't have tried anymore. You led me away from home just to save you from being all alone. You stole my heart, and that's a pain I can do without. <laughs> I wonder I wonder if Rod Stewart has just a continuous sore throat, you know? So anyway, um, coming home, you know, um, the train, uh, what do you call it? The train barrier was down and the lights were flashing. So a train was going by and I missed about, you know, I had to get the camera and everything like that. So I missed a good three to five minutes of the beginning of this train going by. But this train, it just, it just was going on for like, I think it was like maybe after I missed three to five minutes of it, it went on for another five minutes or so. So I filmed it. And I want to share that. There's something about a train. And I know a lot of people, you know, they come uh, to the, where the train intersects the road and they have to wait in this very, they're very impatient. But I, I, I kind of like it when, when a train goes. And, and, and the beautiful thing is we were the first, uh, we were first in the lineup. And, uh, but then on the, on the other, going the other way, we saw how far backed up it was. It was like backed up for like a mile, the train, the train was so long, but I love trains. I just love the feeling of trains. I, when I was a kid, I, uh, I guess from about the time I was eight, nine years old, uh, the summer between fourth grade and fifth grade, I guess it was 19... 1960, the summer of 1963, and I was nine years old. My buddies and I, we used to walk the, in back of my house about a half a mile into the woods. There was a train right by the old Morris Canal, and we used to walk the track for about a mile. Go to Moe's Sweet Shop, and you know you buy a comic book or a mad magazine and then you come back you walk the train track home you know and if you're lucky a train would go by so without further ado i'm going to show the clip of on saturday this past saturday the train going by i just loved it i mean you know it's not the most dramatic thing in the world but i just really kind of like this clip so Without further ado, here we go. So, we are in Oxford on 30, oh, what are we on? 466? 466. 466. After being sick for a week. After being sick for a week. We got stuck on the train. And the train is going by. We had to go to the grocery store for milk and bread. None of our neighbors would help us out. Here's our Lincoln Park hat. There's Bucky, yeah, and there's the train. I got a gusher here, but you don't care. Where, where? You want to film I it? Cut, no, I cut myself on this stupid. Some nice graphics on this train. Yeah, actually, actually, bad words on it. I missed. Oh, here I, comes a good one. I wonder if that Snoopy one will be on. I missed a good five oh, minutes. Look at the little guys. They're so cute. I missed a good five minutes of the train, right? Would you say five minutes? Yeah. There's the blinking red light. This reminds me of when I was about 10 years old. This reminds me when we were in Gettysburg. Yes. <laughs> we were parked on the other side of the train and dad wanted to jump the train to get on the other side. He was so impatient. There's something about a train. It's just something about a train. Well, oh. look at the graphics on that. That's cool. 
dad wanted to jump that train. Like he was gonna, like the train was gonna stop, let him jump over it. And, it's um, cold out. It's funny. It's really cold out in Florida. It's, it's amazing. But it, the wind chill factor. Yeah, the wind chill factor is out of sight. We're gonna get ice today. This is, I think this is the train we saw no. before. It didn't move this fast. I know, but they, they get, they, they got it revved up. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm blowing my nose. One minute and 48 seconds so far. And I missed a good, what would you say, a good five minutes of it? Yeah. <laughs> this is wild, this is some train. Oh, I like those graphics, nice graphics. They usually about a 10 minute train. Yeah, so figure a good five. Well, so far I'm filming two minutes of it. I just broke my eyeball out too. Oh no. Oh man, I'm doing great. With my sharp nail, I just dagged my eye. This is a really long train. I just love it. There's something about a train. It's so what Americana. Is she rock. She rock. Huh. Uh oh, it's slowing down. That ain't good. So I see how it's going. Yeah, I don't see any end in sight. Two, City, South of Mexico. Two minutes and 43 seconds. Hey, buddy, the price of gas is at 320 now. Can you move this train a little faster? I'll tell you, they got some nice graphics here. You know, watch it. They might have some bad words on it, too. I know. I get thrown off YouTube. I am. I'm, I know it's. I know you got to be very patient and all that kind of stuff. But I'm kind of glad to get this train. It's kind of new. You got eyeballs. You missed it. The oh, I missed one. it. The voodoo one. Oh man. I watched the truck guy. That was a nice one. The say. eyeballs were good too. It's in voodoo with the eyeballs as those. This is too cool. Three minutes and twenty-three oh, seconds. Oh, it's ending! Yay! Yay! It ended. <laughs> yeah, that was Jeez. fun. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Now Look we gotta the wait. Traffic on the other side. I know. Look at look at the backup. I gotta film the backup. It's so. And oh, there's a, a, a an ambulance is coming an ambulance out coming at us. No, it's on the other side. Of the on the other side. You yeah. sure it's on the other side? It's coming at us. It's coming at us. Wow, he's moving out. Look at how backed up. Look at the, Man, this is uh, amazing how it got backed up and got. Look at that. All the way down to McDonald's. All the way down to Mickey D's. And there's the village's sign. We're entering the villages right now. He's going to go through the light. Yeah. He's got every right to. There's somebody in there, I think. Yeah. And there's the Walmart. No, you passed the Walmart. Oh, we passed the Walmart. There's the village's charter school. Okay, we've done this. Pretty, before. yeah, I know. Pretty dang cool. I okay. got to see the train. Okay, okay. Gonna sign off for right now. Adios, amigos. So, there you have it, YouTube friends. You know, the train going by. It was kind of neat. Um, a lot of graphics. Uh, I don't know who takes the time or where they have the time. I guess it's young people. And they spray paint graphics. On, on one of my vlogs, uh, there was a great Snoopy. Um, it was in Wildwood, and the train was stationary. And somebody had painted on it a, 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 a really great artistic painting of Snoopy on the side of the train. It was really neat. So I'm going to close. I'm going I'm to rest today and take a lot of vitamin C and hope, hopefully, hopefully I can bounce back from this. I, I mean, I, 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 like, um, so uh, without further ado, I'll sign off. Stay safe, stay happy, and do your best to uh, stay healthy. This is Richard Maybe. Oh, before I forget, I, I, um, I'm behind. I'm replying to my comments. So I'm going to rest a little bit for the rest of this morning. And then uh, in this afternoon, I plan on focusing on replying to comments. I appreciate all your comments. So uh, 
where was I? Uh, stay safe, stay happy. Oh, and do your best to stay healthy. This is Richard Maybe signing off.